keeping them there. But Gatsby's disadvantage is so kooky. It is so weird. And Falcon, as a fast faller, is able to just do these uh, particular things. I oh, that wasn't a button check. He just ran all the way to the other side of the stage so he wouldn't get hit by the auto radical. <laughs> okay, buddy. Um, but now we'll see if my theory is proven correct, whether or not C can actually consistently put C in the uh, put Gatsby in the corner and keep him there. Oh, that was a fantastic auto radical, just calling out that empty jump. And oh, one thing we haven't really seen C have to deal with is people really edge guarding him. Oh, great DI! Managed to get behind C, keeping a uh, keeping himself out of arm's reach. Meaning that he manages to get back to the neutral. Let's see if C can, uh, if Gatsby can actually do anything in the neutral right now, though. Great job. Hits him with the Nair one and baits him into dropping the shield with the jabs. End up getting some more damage out there. Oh, it's so hard to get off of those platforms against the Palu. She has so many options. Dropping shield against the neutral air. That move hits behind her. You have to respect it. And right there, the air dodge up and away. C is able to just follow through and take him out. C taking first blood in winner's finals. As right now, he is looking pretty healthy. Only at 113%. Oh. <laughs> Seven more dash attacks. I am actually really liking that. It feels like C was paying attention to what Gatsby was doing in his previous matches. And that uh, Falcon kick out of the corner is an option he's not scared to pick. And jumping at just the right height is a perfect way to avoid that. Oh, but doesn't avoid it that time around. Gatsby delaying the, uh, the Falcon kick just a little bit, finds its mark. And now we have both of these players, two stocks apiece, with a little bit of a percentage advantage for C. Although, honestly, I feel like 54% is, you can almost think of that as, yeah, you got hit by a Palu neutral air and then take 60% anyway, so. Okay. C, yeah, like he's just getting out of the corner in ways that we other players just haven't been able to do. Oh, what a read. I love the coverage from that. Actually, the only thing in that position that I think would have helped him would have been tech roll away to the other side. But definitely C was not comfortable doing that. Beautiful punish as a result. We now have completely even percent here. Only about 6% separating them. A back throw off the stage. This is really dicey because now he once again has to recover. Oh, but the knee. I, I feel vindicated because I was I was like Gatsby his disadvantage is just too weird. Players who rely on really keeping players in disadvantage strong, tend to struggle against Gatsby for that reason, and we're seeing that in effect right here. How many times to see like Finn on the ledge and he's the one who's died all the way across the stage like that? A back throw again. I think it should be enough. No, without any rage, he's not going to be able to do it. But I that will recovery absolutely. Stellar doesn't actually manage to get anything off of it because C is there in time to kill him with the back throw regardless. But we're seeing how Gatsby is able to thread these needles in ways that C is definitely not anticipating. And now as we reach the last stock between these two players, the question in my mind is whether it's going to be enough for Gatsby. Whether or not he's going to be able to avoid those death sentences, death sentences time after time, or whether when he's off stage just like this. <gasps> and that tech was so pivotal for C. And now, once again, he goes for those kind of committal moves while Gatsby's coming back to stage and gets punished for it. He needs to stop going for this. All right, the setup here. Good DI away from Gatsby, but right now Gatsby, 154%, 51 right now. And there it is, the forward air. He had to go for that high recovery and see finally, it felt like he figured out exactly how to pressure and engineer, force Gatsby to go to exactly where he wanted him to be. And there he was waiting for him. C takes game one in what is honestly, I think a great show of adaptation. And as we move into the rest of this game, uh, the rest of this set rather, I'm really curious to see what sort of counter adaptations Gatsby can throw out.
Yeah, like Gatsby, uh, here's the thing. He, he needs to get weirder. He just needs to go, he needs to embrace the madness. Clearly, he was only working with Madness Light before, and that's why C was able to deconstruct it. So, uh, if you go full, uh, just full embrace the Void, uh, I think that's where C will just no longer be able to keep up. Uh, as I say that, though, did you see the timing on that forward air? That side B has a lot of armor to it, and the fact that C was confident enough to throw out that forward air means he knows exactly when that armor ends. Gatsby once more getting some little bit of stage positioning. Let's see if he can do anything with it. Oh, I don't think he has a jump, and that means he is cool right there. See, beautifully, he just hangs on ledge, reacts to where he's going to go, finds the back air for the stock. We haven't... Uh, uh, this is a this is a lead, honestly. The fact that C won last game pretty decisively, and he is continuing that trend into this game, too. Oh, and he baits out the up smash. That's an up smash that we see C go for a lot because people just, they tend to panic roll when they're in the corner. And C knows that. C was ready for it. Oh, man. Speaking of ready for it, the two frame from Falcon there. Great stuff. Let's see if Gatsby can actually do anything more off of it, though. He's still at 56. Oh, he's going to eat a ton of damage from this. He's still struggling to land, but... That was so cool, going for that air dodge away, knowing that seeing that C had already committed to, like, following through on the right. <clears throat> All right, we have things kind of slowing down just a little bit, right? As I say that, another grab happens. That's be at 121%. That was actually pretty cool, though. Oh, both of those players just barely whiffing. Gatsby, though, willingly putting himself on the ledge, but that's down B. The Huggies going way up there. The hitbox from that is so big. And that's something that had actually been working out for Gatsby was those ledge jump aerials. That's the first time we've seen C go for them. It was not enough. He could not get out of the corner in time. And now we have Gatsby. Despite how good the start of this game looked for C, it's Gatsby who's in control right now. 139%. He's off stage. But honestly, yeah, I feel like he's been coming back pretty freely now. Boom. All right. That's like... I don't know, when, when, you're, when you're in middle school and two kids are about to fight and one of them is just like, oh yeah, and just starts like throwing fists, trying to look real scary, and the other kid just stands there and then just sucker punches him in the face. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. Man, we saw right there, that was actually pretty cool. See, he didn't, you notice he did not panic that neutral air. He waited, he got out of hit stun, and punishing those high recoveries. That's it, a game two for C. He only needs one more and then he's gonna be in grand finals on the winner's side of things. Gatsby needs to do some fundamental uh, restructuring of his play because he's just, uh, he has, these, he has these, like, these moments of explosivity and they're fantastic, they're great, but C is just too consistent. He's just always getting damage. He's always putting him at the ledge and always managing to find some way to end his life there. So as we move into game three where it's kind of do or die for Gatsby, yeah, it takes him back to uh, very curious that... I know that earlier Nintendo was saying that he can't believe that people let Gatsby go here, but yeah, you already seen that C is uh, more than comfortable being able to abuse this stage himself. <gasps> oh, no jump! Oh, he wanted that downer. If that downer connected, that would have been a dead Gatsby. And probably, honestly, that would have secured C's spot in with the Grand Finals. But uh, as it stands, C not able to close that out. Gatsby's now the one in control. Managing to do a ton of damage off of that early knee. Oh, and speaking of knees. Oh, that air dodge coming in so clutch for C. He's at 100%, though. I like that. He went for that. I feel like he timed that down tilt specifically so that he had enough time to escape and avoid a knee if that's what uh, Gatsby tried to go for again. All right. Punishing these landings pretty consistently. Oh, but it's the fact that the Falcon kick has the top. Am I crazy or did he taunt before that too? 
Gatsby's nuts, dude. What was what was what was the what was the plan, man? He grabbed the ledge. He had invincibility. If he didn't just let go of the ledge in that instant, you just need down into the blast zone, my guy. Like, all right. I mean, it worked out. I can't. I cannot fault you for it. But also, how? All right, but regardless, doesn't matter because things are evened up pretty quickly. Both of the players now in the 40s here. We're starting to see go for some moves that we haven't seen him really fish for before. A lot of up airs now. He's trying to find up air as the combo starter. But see, for the most part, he's been avoiding them. <gasps> oh, that's what we saw before. We've seen how bad that is. The fact that the neutral air, a single hit of it will trade and you will have to, you have to semi spike on Falcon. And then, oh man, 60% taken all the way across the stage. And this should be a punish. Another one. He's burned the air dodge. But the, wow, the range on that up beat really coming in for Gatsby. Otherwise, he would be dead as a doorknob right now. He's still playing from behind quite a bit. But that back air managing to even up the stock counts. And we already talked about how explosive Gatsby's play can be. We haven't really seen it lately, but there, oh, it, it, there is always the threat of it, especially when he has this much rage. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was a little bit uh, preemptive. We saw the up smash from Palutena.